You will rule and teach until you are proven. Then when we prove you, we give you responsibility. So the deacon is the associate pastor or a pastor in training. That is a deacon. So evangelist was used for Philip. Why? Because the same Philip in Acts 8, 5 went down to Samaria to preach Christ. Now preach Christ is the word you are Jelizo. He went to preach Christ. He had preached Christ and we see the whole city rejoiced at the miracles he did. Then he also met the eunuch in Acts 8 31. Understandest thou what thou readest? And the eunuch received Christ from the explanation of Philip. So by the time you get to Acts 21, why did he say Philip the evangelist? He means Philip the fellow who preached in Acts 8 5. So the evangelist is not the guy who does crusades. Just like we use bishop today. We say the bishop is somebody who has many pastors under him. Then we have elders under the bishop. Then we have elders council. Then we have bishops council. Then we have confused council. Because the word bishop is the word episcopos episcopos now why do you use bishop why should even men of god use the title bishop what's the history the background behind using the word bishop in israel in israel those who are over congregations or over people are called elders transliteration into greek is prosbyteros where you have the word presbyterian or where you have the word presbytery. So an elder or an elder person in the congregation of Israel is giving responsibility over young people. So what does he do? He judges them. The elder will judge the young people. He will teach them and he will lead them aright. Now, the responsibility of teaching them, judging them, leading them aright is also called being a shepherd. Being a shepherd. The word ra in the Hebrew. Ra. R-A-A-H. To watch over people. He is a shepherd. Now, if you are talking to the nation of Israel or Israelites who are born again and you say elder, they know that what you mean is shepherd. If you are in the midst of Jewish people and you say elder in their culture, which was the culture in which the Bible was written, they know that the word elder means a shepherd. But they also know that the word shepherd is an agrarian term. It's a term identified with agriculture. Because largely, majority of Israelites were, were agriculture in thinking. They thought a Greek. They were farmers. That's why the Bible uses shepherd a lot for them. You are my sheep. I will gather my sheep to their fold. I will give them a shepherd. I will bring them from where they have wandered to a shepherd. The word shepherd was used a lot in the Old Testament because it was the culture of the Jews that somebody who is an elder over a people is also a shepherd just like a shepherd takes care of flock. Stay with me. So God will say, I am your shepherd. He will use words like, you are the sheep of his pasture. And they understood. That's why you find Jesus just used the word elders or shepherd. But Paul, brother Paul, <laughs> comes from a Gentile background. Hmm? From which background? And he goes to a Gentile nation. Now if he uses shepherd, to the Greek Roman Gentile nation, it will not resonate because they don't understand that culture. 
So he looks for what can resonate in the culture of Gentiles. And he finds a word, episcopos. Episcopos is the word bishop. Somebody who oversees a district that has people. So, Brother Paul replaced the word shepherd with the word bishop. So, bishop is a transliteration of shepherd. Bishop are not the senior men of God that pastors are under. Bishop's uniform is not Bible. They don't have a uniform in the Bible. All that cassock and choir uniform is not in the Bible. That long chain with the sword is not in the Bible. It is human combination. So don't be afraid of the uniform. Don't be afraid of the knife. You too can buy one knife. After all, Peter had a knife, but he was not a bishop. <laughs> Going around and saying, I bless you, is not a calling. You too, after they say, I bless you, you can also say, I bless you back. <laughs> Teaching good tonight. They have deceived us too much. Let's stop this nonsense. So Paul replaced the word bishop in place of what? So if we say bishop, what do we mean? Simple. Simple. Headsmen. <laughs> Bishops are headsmen. It's just that they are not full of any headsmen, but they are headsmen. <laughs> Ask your neighbor, are you a headsman? <laughs> I thought you liked title. Are you a headsman? <laughs> but don't forget that the word bishop is also the word elder. The word bishop is also the word elder. So, let me, let's do a quick, a quick review now. Let me be sure you are with me on the same page. So, elder or bishop or shepherd. All of them are one. They are the same. Acts 20, 17. Brother Paul calls for the elders of the church in Ephesus. Read for me, Acts 20, 17. And from my letters, he sent to Ephesus and called the elders of the church. He called for the elders of the church. Elders will be those who are spiritually mature. He calls for them. What does he say to these elders? Acts 20.20. 20. Pay attention. Acts 20.20. 20. And how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have showed you and have taught you publicly and from house to house. He says, I've not kept anything that was profitable to you guys. He's talking to the elders. Verse 28, Acts 20, 28. For I have not shunned, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock, over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers. Wait, these people first were called what? Elders. Now what are they called? Overseers. The same people? Eh? Yes. Read again, girl. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers. Overseers. Next sentence. To feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. So the elders are the overseers who are to feed. So elder is bishop who is a pastor? Is it getting clear? They are not three different people. Elder, bishop, is one person. But these functions are in him. I'm teaching good. Look at another place. Then it says, feed the church. The word feed the church, there is the word 
paiomano. The word shepherd in the Greek, paiomen. So he uses the same words for the same set of people. He calls them elders. He calls them overseers or bishop. And they are also pastors. So can you see it? So they are the same thing. Shepherd, pastor, elder, bishop. The same thing. Let me show you a bit further. First Peter 5, 1 Peter 5.1 first peter chapter 5 verse 1 now before we read first peter chapter 5 what do we popularly know peter as huh huh apostle in matthew chapter 10 they were called what apostle so peter is what an apostle all right good so read for me girl the elders which are among you i exhort who am also an elder and the witness of the sufferings of who Christ. i am also okay read on and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. All right, so he calls himself an elder. So since he's an elder, what will he do now? Next verse. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but wing willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Feed the flock. Elders, feed the flock. Because the entire essence of apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher is to feed the flock so they can be equipped to do the work of ministry. Getting clear? Yeah. So, bishop, shepherd, elder, same. Look at that first Peter again, chapter 5, verse 3 and 4. Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. Next verse. And when the chief shepherd shall appear. So the chief shepherd there is the archbishop. The archshepherd. So the true archbishop is Jesus himself. Archbishop is Jesus' office. So he is the archbishop over the bishops, overseers, elders. When he shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that faded not away. And Peter says he too, the apostle is also an elder so the apostle is the pastor is the elder is the bishop is the prophet is the evangelist and he's the teacher it's all in one person but the name that we are called when we have all of that function is elders so an elder has the functions and it comes by maturity so as you mature in the knowledge of Christ, you begin to function in the offices for the edifying of the body of Christ. If I'm teaching good, say, I hear you. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say, hey, elder, yeah. elder. bishop, bishop. Pastor. pastor, prophet, pastor. evangelist, pastor. teacher, pastor. we equip the saints to do the work of ministry. I didn't hear a powerful amen. You see, over time, the definitions change. Not because the writers change it, but we are the ones that innovated.